Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS. Last time, we started capturing some gallery ghosts, two of them to be specific, and now we're going to go handle something a little bit different. So, as long as I don't run into any Meeson. Oh boy. Oh, that was my door. I'm smart. Now... I kind of alluded to it already throughout this series, this currently three-part series, that some ghosts are different. I also did mention boss, I think, at one point. So I think it's only fair to, to double, ch double state that there are bosses within this game. So right now I'm just checking all the stuff in the room, make sure nothing shakes to knock something out. Pick up these coins, don't mess around with anything else. Why do I feel like the 3DS, like, should default to... Uh, <laughs> I feel like the 3DS actually should be defaulting to uh, inverted aim. Anyway, nothing special in this room. But if you want the hint from our good friend here, basically he's trying to sleep. What if we made so he didn't sleep? Hello? Oh. Hello! I don't want to play. Uh, give me this. So the whole gimmick to this is... Oh god. Can I turn? Uh, I guess not. Give me that bear. Buh. You're supposed to use the right trigger to suck up the ball and left trigger to blow it back. Now this is going to be awkward because I only have one joystick to do this with. Maybe I use the D-pad I can like swing myself around? I need to be bigger than me. Yeah, I've had enough. Smaller. Get st oh, uh, kid. I, I'm not okay with this. You know, there's such a thing as playing with your adults in certain ways, but ah. Uh... Oh. So remember when I said it was a little more disturbing than anything? Yeah, just a little bit disturbing. I'm going to run now, okay? Hold on, first you have to show me a big punch, then I'm going to run. Anyway, this boss fight, unfortunately, is pretty easy. Watch behind him for the horses, ru run, like, basically cross up paths. The horses won't, the rocking horses won't try and run you over until they cross paths you. And then these balls are going to come out. Oh boy, more balls. Grab the one ball that is... Grab the one ball that stays put, and it starts sucking on him. Now, I believe bosses are... It's Bosses basically are like 2 to 3 sucks for a gold, and then like 4 to 5 for silver, and 6 is everything, and 6 plus is everything else. I could be wrong on that, because we're about to find that out after I complete this boss fight. What if I got a vacuum even? What if I sidestep even? A shimmy, a shimmy, a shimmy, a shimmy, a shimmy. Come on at me. Come at me, bro. I'm shimming. I'm shimming like a madman. I actually didn't take damage. I'm surprised. Oh! Uh, I found out how to turn. Oh, I almost two cycled him. So I forgot how to turn yourself while you're sucking. Hold the B button, and you basically will do this. And you can still aim up and down, okay. Yeah, Luigi, you do it, rock out! Rock out to this music! Ah! Okay, I need to stop, <laughs> I, might break, I might break this thing. Also, what's that on the left? I'm just noticing this little thing on the left of my HUD here. Or I guess, yeah, my HUD. It's like this little bubble. Oh, I know what that is. Wow, they uh, kind of goofed that one. Sorry, we got to go down now, buddy. It's nap time. Permanently.
Well, that's a baby defeated. Congratulations, Luigi. You're a you're a hero. You you destroyed a baby. I'll take that. I'll take that big health now. I believe that those big hearts recover 50 or 60 HP, which I never talked about HP, considering we've taken some damage already. But hold on, let me pop this. I'll take that. Thank you. And that leads to that door down there, but a little bit of an interruption. Yes, Egad? Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness, you're okay. I lost contact with you. Oh, oh ugh, ugh. all of a sudden, I was a tad worried. You seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? I took one hit, I'm good. Why don't you come back to the lab? When you vacuum up boss goes, your portal costs 3,000 gets felt pretty much fault. <laughs> it's full. But, ho ho. I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. I guess I did. You made it back in one piece. Take care of this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch in the paintings. There's only that. It works in reverse, too. Why would they mention reverse? Hmm. Oh, I wonder. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of, I'm kind of going off and on. Hmm. How do we use it? You ask. Well, it's simple. Just plug that Polticus 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Into this heating vent, you mean? Okay. Now let's see how well we did. So only three portrait ghosts right now. One of them being a boss. But let's see how it works. Huh. Sorry, I'm like marveling at this because they actually did uh, make the animation a little cleaner for this too. Mainly for like Luigi and Egad. So what I do? I got silver on, Ch on Chauncey. Gold on Neville. And I forget this lady's name, but I got gold on her as well. <sighs> well, we better send those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Uh, well, I guess the game's gonna tell me what, what it is right here. Lydia. Oh, that they actually added that to that bottom screen. I like this. I've caught three ghosts. So, playtime, 22 minutes, even though it didn't feel like it. Ghost defeat. Tw I got five million? That doesn't feel right. All that'll do with the pearls. So I would have to assume, I'm just doing some rough math here, I would have to assume that the giant pearls are worth about 800,000? I don't know, I'm spitballing. Somebody in the comments can probably tell me or I can look it all up, but we're doing pretty good. Because I think in order to get, uh, I think in order to get, what is it? The best, because you get you gather up all this money to get the best ranking in the game. I think to get the best rank in the game, I think you need like five hundred uh, million, something silly like that. Don't worry, the money would be going exponential from here on forward. I could be wrong about that. It could even hit the billions. Hold on, is is Gooigi just chilling in the back? Anyway, let's head back to the mansion for a little bit, shall we? And I'm gonna skip this cutscene because we don't need to see it twice. Area one cleared! I got an achievable! As I awkwardly shuffle in place here. Now, I'm pretty sure the lights, the lights are now permanently on in the rooms that we have conquered so far. Which is not very many. Which is indicated by the fact that the rooms are yellow. So when you clear an area, in this case area one, all rooms you visited within that, with that, all rooms you visited up to the boss will then flick on and become permanently lit. Yes, it is intriguing, isn't it, Luigi? Now don't count the fact that we're done with those areas. Don't like don't take all those areas and like toss into the wayside. Like we'll never speak of it again. Cause they will become important at a later point. Also, they clean that up. I like that. Originally, that effect 
of the door of like the heart around the door dissipating wasn't a thing. It was still the thorns again, and it like pulsed inwards, and then the thorns just disappeared. So this implies there's actually some kind of otherworldly uh, influence on the doors. Anyway, now that we're in this area, now that we're in this area, uh, I want you to note. I want to make you aware that sometimes when you're walking down the halls here, I don't know what the percentage chance is, but when you're walking down the halls here, there is a chance that a specific, that a specific, uh, that a gold mouse, like we saw before, will spawn here. Uh, he doesn't count, by the way. There also be little ghosts like that, uh, little ghosts that have no, like, zero health that spawn the halls and are just there for annoyance. Sucking them all up doesn't light up the hall. Anyway, this is the only place we can go. I'm gonna need you to let go of me. Alright. So, say hello to the grabbers. A grabber's job is to... A grabber's job is to sneak up behind you and grab you so you are rendered useless and can't handle ghosts. There we go, gotcha. But we need to clear out this room. Hello? Looks like you were into a bit of trouble there. Maybe you need more training. Yeah. I already figured this out, but thanks, Egad. Well, at least they did teach you about that right away. Oh, looks like... Looks like if you aren't done in a room, it the room glows red until you collect the key. I don't know, we'll see in a second what happens here. Or it could be that it glows red saying you completed it in that area. Or I'm an idiot, and the fact that this area 2 is opened by a heart key, which is pink. Pink is the color used to identify area 2 rooms so that we know exactly what's going on. Also, the fact that they color-coded all the rooms is nice. He's nice. Anyway. I'm not going to worry too much about things. Now, there will be a specific tune that will play. Also, I want to see something here. Okay, take a picture of the house. It doesn't do anything. Um, but basically, when you're walking up and down these halls, you want to hear, listen for a little chime that goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. and that means the gold mouse has spawned in this area. It's a very low chance that it will happen, so chances that you will see it while you're playing the game will be about as good as mine. Those of you that are that have the good luck will probably have it one one of them spawn for you. They're literally just gimmies if they'll happen. Anyway. Uh, they changed this room drastically. Anyway. Check every chair before I go forward because I want to make sure there's not a uh, money ghost in one of these. <laughs> no, no, I want to... I don't want to suck the masks off. I want to. I want to mess around with the lamps. Oh, I took his mask away. I'm not trying to take their mask. I'm trying to shake the lantern. Thank you. Okay, root. Can I help you? Ow. Well, at least two of them don't like me. So yeah, these sh these shy guy ghosts, the spear guy ghosts, rather. Basically, you want to suck their masks off, and then uh, suck them up. I don't know. I feel like the ghost variety in this game is much better than it was in in Dark Moon. But I am also I am also a funny duddy who likes what he likes in games and doesn't want to like deal with newfangled games, so to say. I love the I love the addition of the strobe ball. This actually is so much stronger. Anyway, once you do all this, these two will pop up. Now I should take a picture of their heart just to see what it was. Luigi, no, I missed. Which will never find my weakness. 
Hello? Okay, what is it? Okay, I see how it works. So holding A and B, I can kind of move around as, as I like. Also, I feel like at this point, it's just like waiting for them to become visible long enough so you can stun them. It is just a waiting game and I don't know the exact science behind it. Well, that was starting to work. I really, I really don't know what the science is behind this one. What if I stand over here? What happens? Like, I'm actually just waiting for them to show themselves. This is kind of a BS segment. Oh, I have, I have to dance on the floor with them. I don't get it either. Anyway, I just gotta wait for them to. Sh I gotta wait for them to like. Huh. Let me. I don't know what it is. Got him! I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna break my circle pad doing this. Got him. That felt incredibly easy. Uh, don't touch me. Also, I would like to mention that you can suck up the poison mushrooms with your vacuum, so just something to keep in check. Also, the harder the ghosts get to capture, the more pearls they spit out, but I think they still only spit out one big pearl per encounter. Anyway, let me go ahead and open this. And... Well, I mean, this is our only next logical step, so... Pop this door open. I also want to see how they handle this. Also, let me see. Gotcha! Don't punch me! Oh my god! I almost had that one! At least I touched him this time. Okay, run away. You know, you cost me a blue ghost. I hope you're happy with yourself. So I have three blue ghosts I have to try and, like, worm my way back to get at some point. Now, I believe at this point we're going to get two of them at the same time. Something I will say, though, that I think I appreciate now from this version, the old version of Luigi's Mansion to the new one, is there is no dodge mechanic in the old version of the game, so those who are like, hey, why aren't you dodging all these attacks? There is no dodge function. Like, literally the way they get they got around the whole fact that you can't... The way they got around the whole fact that you can't move and twist your, yourself while you're moving like this is to use the dodge command is to move... as they use the button that was the dodge command from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Also, is it just me, or am I, like, clipping on something here? I don't think I'm just imagining something. Anyway. Oh no! We are definitely lo We are definitely stuck with no forward progression. How will we ever survive? I wonder how. Anyway. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion for 3DS. And I hope you'll come back next time when we will progress forward and have a eerie encounter. You folks have a great rest of your day. And take care.